safe cabs. We have drivers who undergo criminal background checks. We do all the right things uh, through an, a process that has evolved over decades to make sure that we protect the consumer, that we protect the drivers, that we protect the industry, that all the stakeholders, while they might disagree with each other t sometimes and fight with each other, they exist in a legislative framework that we do our very best to protect the consumer. A new company came to town, not with new technology. I've heard a few of my colleagues say, well, there's a new technology and the genie is out of the bottle and everything's going to change now. And those comments are, that is not an accurate statement. The first company in this city to have an app was Beck. Another company came in called Uber. What's the difference between the Beck app and the Uber app? Not much. They're basically the same. What's the difference between Uber uh, as a company and Beck as a company? Well, Beck follows all the rules. Uber doesn't. And therefore, when I see people saying, well, you know, the Uber app is very popular, I go, I don't really think it's the app that's so popular. Yes, apps are popular. Bex, I'm sure, will be popular too. The difference between the two is one company can give you a cheaper ride than the other company. I can guarantee you that if Uber was 30 or 40% more expensive than everybody else, we wouldn't be talking now. The only reason we're here is because Uber is giving members of the, the public a ride that is 40, sometimes even call it 50% cheaper than the going rate. And they've been able to do that by breaking the law or ignoring the law. I haven't seen one shred of evidence that one single driver has commercial insurance. I've been on the committee for five years. I've gone to all the, the meetings except for one and People come forward and say, I'm an Uber driver. They're asked questions. Do you have insurance? I've only heard one gentleman say yes. Nobody else ever say yes. No evidence that anyone has insurance. Are we protecting the public by allowing our family and friends going out in these vehicles that don't have insurance? I don't think so. That's why they can offer a cheaper price. Not a better service, just a cheaper price. There's no security cameras in their vehicles to protect the driver or the passenger. That's why they can provide a cheaper ride. Not because they're a better service, not because it's a better app, because they're avoiding the rules and the rules that we've put in place so that when there is a sexual assault in one of their cabs, the police have a tool to help them do a thorough investigation. The driver will say one thing, perhaps the passenger will say another thing, and it is an alleged sexual assault. Well, boy, if it was a member of my family who'd been allegedly sexually assaulted, I would want a camera in that vehicle to clear up that, that accusation very, very fast. But we have 13, 16,000 drivers out there who don't have cameras in their vehicles. And the, the mayor and I kidded it perhaps a little bit in questioning, saying, well, how far do we go down? Do we go right down to the tires of a vehicle? And you know what my response is? Yes. We moved a motion, this council moved motions, to make sure that every cab in the city has snow tires. Because around the world it's been proven snow tires protect lives. So the only reason, and Uber now, to their credit, has put, uh, the, the one thing they've done is put uh, snow tires on. But in the end, Councilor we Dipper have Baker. to protect the industry that follows the rules and not reward people who break the rules or don't follow them. Thank, Thank you. you, Madam Speaker. Camp. Councillor Holliday, you have a question, three minutes, clarification. Thank you, Madam Chair. 